Today I'm gonna to cover how to put on upper body clothing, including pullovers, jackets, and button-ups using one arm with and without adaptive equipment. I'll also share the most important thing you need to remember with upper body dressing. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get started with pullovers. So if you'd like to practice along with me, I'd recommend grabbing a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, or even like a pullover sweater like I've got here. Um, Maybe helpful to start out practicing with larger things, like I've got a really nice oversized pullover here. Um, tighter shirts will be a little bit more difficult. One thing I do want to make note of, one of the most important things that you can remember throughout the stuff that I'm gonna show you today is put your affected arm in first and out last. This is just one of those things that's, it's kind of our principle of work smarter, not harder. Um, and the reason for that is the affected arm typically has less movement, less range of motion. Um, so it can be harder to um, maneuver that arm. So by putting it in first and taking it out last, you're, you're limiting movement or stretching that you have to put the affected arm through. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Grab your shirt, your sweater, whatever you've got. First step is to, of course, find your tag. Make sure that you're putting your shirt on uh, the right way and not getting it on backwards, because that's frustrating when you spent all the time to get it on and then it's on backwards. Kind of lay it out, get it ready. So this arm is going to be my affected arm throughout this video. And so I'm going to start, right? Affected arm in first. So we're gonna kind of gather up all of our shirt here to get my affected arm inside the sleeve. So I'm gonna use my unaffected arm to pull the sleeve up over the top and you want to try to push it up if you can above your elbow that's just going to make things a little easier when we start to pull it over our head then affected arm goes in the sl its sleeve Do -do -do. there we go and then we can get ready to pull our head through at the top opening so it will help if you kind of bunch up all that fabric at the back and then you're gonna pull it over top of your head. It may be helpful to bend your head down, especially if you have um, a tighter shirt that you're putting on. So head's down, shirt is on, and then you're just gonna pull it down. And then you're ready to go. But we also have to be able to take off our clothes at some point, that's necessary too. So we know that we're gonna take our affected arm out last. So let me show you how to take off a pullover shirt. So you're gonna start with your unaffected arm and you're gonna wiggle your way out of that sleeve. Pull that side of your shirt up. And then we're gonna pull off over the top of our head. Again, maybe helpful to bend your head down. And then last but not least, we'll be pulling off the sleeve on our affected side. So, affected arm out last. And there we go, so that's a pullover. Like I said, it may be a little more difficult um, if you're trying to put on tighter clothes, uh, but you know, start with something loose, practice that, and then you can move up to uh, those tighter shirts. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to jackets with zippers. Um, those can be a little bit tricky. So I've got a kind of like an oversized hoodie here with the zipper that I'm gonna practice with and show you. So if y'all wanna grab something to practice along with me, go ahead, pause the video if you need to. First step is to make sure that we've got the hoodie turned the right way. And we're gonna still be following our principle of affected arm in first, out last. So I've got the sleeve that my affected arm needs to go into. So I'm gonna start there. We're going to put the affected arm in first. Now the trick with this, with, with jackets that you can you know, pull up, you wanna get that over your shoulder if you can. It's gonna make bringing the jacket around a lot easier. So we're gonna take that. Now that it's up on my shoulder, I can kind of pull it around. Sure, the hoodie's not getting in the way, or the hood on the hoodie, which it is. And then, once you have it pulled around, 
kind of search for that other sleeve to put your unaffected arm through. And then it's on. So you can go just like this. You don't have to zip it up. But if you're looking for a little more warmth, then you'll want to zip up. We are going to get ourselves ready here. Now we're going to use the affected arm as a way to kind of get a little bit of leverage um, to keep it a little bit more stable while we're trying to fiddle around with it. <laughs> so use your affected arm right here. You can see I've got the zipper pull here. So I'm kind of holding down by leaning over onto my affected arm because arms are heavy. They, they put some weight on stuff. With my unaffected hand, I'm holding the teeth of the zipper. So I'm gonna slide that into my zipper pull and you can see I'm using my index finger to kind of hold the end of that zipper pull so that the teeth will go in. And then I'm gonna continue to hold there so the tooth doesn't come out. And I'm gonna do that by holding on to the end of the pole with my index finger. I'm just giving a little bit of pressure there. And so what I just did there to get that zipper pulled up a little bit, I used my unaffected hand to push down on the end of that um, where the zipper starts, and then I start pulling up on the pole. Now for this part, you can go one of two ways. Using your affected arm, you can, you know, kind of replace it over the end of the zipper to give a little bit, again, of um, weight there to hold it. And then you can just pull up with your unaffected side. Or some people um, like to use a zipper pull, which, so this is the, this is a button hook with a zipper pull on the end. So you can use that as well. All you do is kind of just hook that through the loop of the pull and just pull up. So you can find what works best for you. You may like the zipper pull, you may just like using your fingers better, whatever works best for you. But we also have to be able to get out of this, right? <laughs> so let's work on that. So if we want to get out of our jacket, we're going to pull the zipper down with the unaffected hand, pull, 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 as far down as you can get. Then if you need to move your affected arm up a little bit, again, to provide a little bit of weight as you try to pull the zipper the rest of the way down, um, you can do that. It's gonna give you a little bit more weight and make it a little easier to get that zipper all the way pulled off. All right, so we're gonna keep following our principle, affected arm out last. So we're gonna take our sleeve off of our unaffected hand by doing a little shimmy here, we're gonna slide it off. There we go, swing it around. And then all we have to do is pull it off of our affected arm. And there we go. So that's how we do jackets with zippers. All right, last but not least, we have arrived at shirts with buttons. So again, if you have a shirt with buttons that you wanna to grab to practice with, go for it. I'll show you what I have here. That's a shirt with some medium sized buttons. Um, usually larger buttons are gonna be a little bit easier. Smaller buttons are gonna be a little bit harder. So I pulled something kind of right in the middle here. Again, we're staying with our principle. Affected arm in first, out last. So same thing, like we kind of did with our jacket before. We wanna make sure that the um, sleeve we're starting with is for our affected arm. And we are going to pull that sleeve up. And just like with the jacket, we wanna pull that up and over our shoulder if we can. And then reach around with your unaffected arm and kind of pull it over. Now, luckily for me, my sleeve was just right there, so it made it a lot easier just to slip right into. Like I said in the last part of the video, I do have a button hook, but I'm gonna show you first without any adaptive equipment. So, you are going to hold the button in between your thumb and your index finger, and try to find the corresponding space to put it into, <laughs> right? Because that would be really annoying if we buttoned them in, you know, off by one you get to the end and then you have to redo it. So check first, it's like measure twice, cut once, double check your uh, where you're putting your buttons first. <laughs> All right, so 
We're double checking that we're all lined up. So I'm gonna start with this one. So I'm again, I've got my button between my thumb and my index finger, and I'm using my middle finger to kind of come over here and open up and feel for the button to come through that slot. And then I'm gonna use my thumb to help push it all the way through. And that's it. Then you just have to repeat for as many buttons as you have. So I'm gonna do another one just to show you guys. So thumb and index finger, you're holding the button. You're taking your middle finger and you're putting it over the little slit there where the button's gonna go through and you're going to kind of feel for it. When you feel that button start to come through that slot, then you're gonna push up with your thumb, push it through, and then readjust as needed. Let's go ahead and talk through how we would use a button hook to get the buttons on. You're going to take the end, that long wired end, and put it through the slit where the button's going to go into. Then you're going to hook onto your button so that it gets at the very end there and kind of start to wiggle and pull that through. Now for me, I had a hard time kind of pulling it through all the way, but you can, once you've got it into place, you can kind of then go back with your fingers and pull the button through and then the button hook comes off. So again, I'm gonna show you that one more time. So slide through the opening for the button. And then you're going to hook your button onto the end. And then you're going to just pull, pull, pull. You may need a little extra boost at the end there with your fingers. And then you can just take your button hook off. So let's go ahead, we'll take this off. We're using our either our index or our middle finger to push the button back through the slot and then taking it off the rest of the way. Unaffected side is gonna come out first, right? Affected arm out last. We have thrown it around our shoulders and then we're just gonna pull it off. And that is how we do button ups. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Did you learn any new techniques today? Or is there a strategy that you use for upper body dressing that you didn't see, but that works really well for you? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if you're looking for more resources to help on your recovery journey, I'll leave a link down in the description to sign up for my email list, which gets you three free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails a week, plus a free copy of my ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.